Hello, YouTube. I'm back. Um, so this story is quite, well, it was quite disturbing being there, seeing this happen and confusing, perplexing, whatever. Uh, so, but when you hear it, I'm assuming you'll feel the same way, but not remotely the same as if you saw it. All right, let's get into it. So there was one time, this happened like about a year ago, last summer, uh, that me, my ex, uh, and a couple of her friends, we all went into downtown Boston, um, and we were just like walking around, like taking photos, just goofing around, you know? It, at that time, it was like, I don't know, like, uh, it, it was like from 11 to like 1 in the morning, like 11 at night till one in the morning that we were out there. Um, and uh, so there was one point where we were like taking photos of these like light up neon signs or whatever, but uh, below it is like, like where it is is like in this like little field, uh, but it's like it's in, in the middle of the city, you know? So it's like, by these giant buildings and stuff like that and it's like pretty active uh out there but we were obviously like the only ones out there except there was a guy and a girl that were right there like at that spot um but uh the lady uh, th this was like real sketchy so i've i've seen like a lot of sketchy stuff like happen with like people in public or whatever uh and like and like homeless people or whatever but like not like this uh this was just like really confusing considering the kinds of people they were and like what they were doing and like just in uh, like everything about it you know uh so the guy looked like he could have potentially been homeless or or like uh poor like real poor or something like that but i think more homeless or something like that but the lady that he was with didn't seem that way uh, she seemed like she was just like some like woman that's probably in her like I don't know late twenties, early thirties. I'm assuming like early mid thirties. That like was just out I don't know clubbing or going out or going out to a restaurant or something like that. That's the way she was dressed and the way she like looked or whatever. Um, but this lady was like i think it was her vomit on the floor but she was like searching through her vomit like on her like knees like just like using her hands to like kind of search through it or whatever it was just real strange i did not understand why that was happening or what exactly what was what was going on like uh, I don't know if like maybe she ate something she wasn't supposed to uh, so the guy like made her, I don't know, search for something she was, she threw up or if it could have been like that she was turnt and like threw up or on some sort of drug, uh, all the above. Um, but I don't know. It, it just seemed weirdly sketchy cause like the guy didn't seem like he was fully like consoling her in the sense that she was like turn, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when like someone gets to turn and like someone's like consoling them cause they're throwing up or whatever, it, it didn't seem like that. It seemed as if like he wanted her to look through the vomit and or that she wanted to look through the vomit. It was just an overall really sketchy situation. I didn't want to remotely approach them and trying to like see to help out because I don't know like what's going on, what they're going to do or if it like, uh, and I didn't bother to like, you know, yeah. So yeah, it was real weird, a weird sight. Uh, my uh my ex and my uh like those two friends didn't notice it i think i was the only one who noticed it but it was just like real weird i i, I like tried telling them about it but like uh but they were like distracted by taking photos and goofing around but but i just decided to keep it to myself because it was just uh like i i forgot it like throughout the night because it was just like so disturbing um but that was that story. There's not too much, uh, not too much to it. I just didn't 
really know what was going on. It was quite sketchy, so I decided to share that story. All right, check out my other stories, though. They are quite interesting like that one, but they are more lengthy. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.